sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so- no, 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 no. Before we get into that, first of all, why was his voice so deep? Second of all, now Phoenix is getting coffee mugs thrown in his head? It's Michaela, and welcome back to another Ace Attorney video. Bet you didn't expect to see me this quickly, did you? Yeah, I posted a video a couple days ago, and you're getting a new video today, and you may be wondering, Michaela, what the heck is going on? One of you was so kind to remind me that today, the day that this video is going up, is my one year anniversary from when I posted my very first Ace Attorney video. Y'all, that is crazy. Like just hearing that, reading that, I'm in disbelief myself. How has it been a year? Like time is an illusion and it's fake and I don't trust it. But listen, the date doesn't lie. We have the receipts. June 9th, 2023 is when I posted my very first Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney video here on this channel. And what better way to celebrate than Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney? I had no intentions of making up for the week I took off before the last video, but this opportunity just presented itself. It could not have come at a better time. I am so excited for today's video. There's a lot going on, especially after the last one. So let's just do this, shall we? I also want to take this moment to say a huge, huge thank you for all of you that watch these videos and my other videos. Y'all, I... I don't think a lot of you know this, but I posted my very first YouTube video on this channel 10 years ago, okay? in 2014 with my sister. They are very much privated now. Don't even bother looking for them. You won't be able to find them. And then six years ago in 2018, I actually wanted to try to take YouTube more seriously. So I posted my official first video on the channel, which is a vlog from when I went to New York City for the first time. It's a really good video. I'm not going to lie. If you want to go watch it, feel free. But it wasn't until three years ago when my channel actually started gaining some traction. And that is when I started posting bar prep content here on my channel. The bar exam is the exam you have to take to become an attorney. And being that I had taken it fairly recently, I felt I was in the best position to give tips to everyone else who may have been taking it. And we kind of skyrocketed from there. But as you can see, the connection between me actually starting, starting, starting this channel three years ago and the Ace Attorney videos being a year ago that I started those, there was two years of just straight grinding, trying to see what worked, seeing what didn't. And I remember sitting in my living room being like, I don't know what this Ace Attorney thing's about, but why not? Like, I'm a lawyer who loves video games more than anything in this world. There's a lawyer video game? Seems like it'd be a good fit. I posted that first video. I had absolutely zero expectations. I was like, it's either gonna flop or it's not. We'll see, we'll see. And a year later, here we are. So Ace Attorney will always have a very special place in my heart because of what it has done for my channel. And y'all will always have a very special place in my heart for supporting me. And I mean that. Each and every one of you who watches these videos, who gives them a thumbs up, who leaves me a comment, like y'all, mean the absolute world to me. And I genuinely, genuinely appreciate every single one of you. So with that being said, if you missed the last video, you're going to want to watch it before you watch this one. Honestly, you're not going to know what the fork is going on if you don't. It was a long one. Okay. I had no plans of that being that long. I'm glad a lot of you were very happy about it though, but I'm, I'm, I'm not expecting today's to be as long. We'll see. I, I've been wrong in the past, clearly. But because the video was so long, I think we are all in need of a quick little recap. By quick little, I mean several minutes. We'll see how long this actually goes. But let me set the scene. We are currently at Lordly Taylor, where a treasure exhibition is being put on by none other than Miss Adrian Andrews, who I'm happy to report is no longer surviving and appears to be thriving, at least until this case happened. But you, that's besides the point. Adrian is doing an exhibition showcasing family heirlooms from the Kurain village, specifically the sacred urn that has housed Amy Faye's spirit. Adrian was also in charge of hiring security. And 20 days before this expo was supposed to begin, Adrian received a threatening letter from Mask Damask, the phantom thief? 10 days after that, Adrian receives a calling card from Mask to Mask and decides to hire Luke Atme, ace detective. Not to be confused with Phoenix Wright ace attorney, Maya Fay, ace spirit medium, or Pearl Fay, ace apprentice. <laughs> anyway, Mask to Mask then surrenders. 
Allegedly. A guy named Ron Delight turns himself in and claims to be masked to mask, although he just so happens not to remember where he put that sacred urn. He just can't find the darn thing. We then went to Ron's hideout where we met Desiree, his lovely wife, who did in fact confirm that Ron is delusional. He thinks he's mask to mask, when in reality, he's just a regular guy with confidence issues who's being framed. Ron then asked us to take his case and defend him, which yes, is a massive conflict of interest considering the victims are the phase in this case, but <laughs> it's Ace Attorney. Now here's where things get weird. Er. Adrian said that Luke Atme stopped her from showing the cops the mass to mass calling card, which I don't like. Why don't you want to get the cops involved? I get that you're an ace detective, but eh, it feels like you're trying to hide something, cover up something. I don't like it. Atme has had five encounters with mass to mask Allegedly, that's what he says at least. And apparently on the fourth encounter, he was able to force Damas to give back the item he stole. And he's just certain that this fifth item, this fifth encounter is gonna be the one where he actually gets him. Except he doesn't actually care about getting the stolen item back this time. Like he made that very clear. And I don't know, uh, that's a problem for me considering that's the issue. That's the thing that he stole. We should be trying to get that back. It is a family heirloom and it literally holds a spirit medium spirit. We don't need that floating around in the world. But during the heist, Atme was in fact knocked unconscious with a sword from a different heirloom. I understand now through all of your lovely comments that that sword was fake. I don't recall that being mentioned, but y'all have to remember it was three hours of straight dialogue. I'm not gonna remember every detail. But that fake sword was apparently both strong enough to knock out at me while weak enough to bend pretty significantly. Also, thank you to all of you who so kindly told me how many things I mispronounced in the last video. For the sword, we're gonna go with she Shishido, okay? she Shishido, not she Shishido, even though I think she Shishido is way better, but she Shishido. She Shishido. She Shishido? <laughs> Luckily, while Atme was busy being unconscious, there was a security camera who did take a photo around the time of the robbery. And the photo does in fact show mask to mask. Now the problem is we don't know who's behind mask to mask's mask. But Atme is fully convinced that it is Ron behind the mask, especially due to a threatening letter he received from someone at KB Security. Ron just so happens to work at KB Security as well as Larry, who will likely spend the rest of this game digging himself out of his jail hole. That's where I'm gonna leave that. Anyway, Larry found Ron's wallet, again, around the time when he was supposed to be dropping off $50,000 to someone at KB Security the night of the heist. Yet the episode ended with us returning to Luke Atme's office, and in that office was a bag with a large, smooth, hard object. The urn? perhaps? We weren't able to confirm that, okay, but we hopefully will today because Luke at me will be taking the stand. And while we are trying to figure out what the heck he's going to be talking about, he's apparently going to be trying to prove that Phoenix and the Faze are co-conspirators and helped mass to mass with this whole thing. He's also delusional, okay? Oh, and there's also a new prosecutor we'll be meeting today who we're going to go with the pronunciation of Godot. I feel like the two most popular options in my comments were Godot, or Gado. Gado just feels better to me. Like Godo, uh, I don't know, doesn't feel good. Gado, we can do Gado. We can do Gado, okay? The candle of the day is Linen Sheets by White Barn. And I'm sure after this video, especially, most of you are gonna be even more confused as to what my posting schedule is with these videos. I've never had an official, official schedule, but after today, I'm hoping to go back to my normal Friday Ace Attorney videos and I'll be posting a ton of Paper Mario videos throughout that, that I don't have 100% secured. Because again, we kind of got to like post those a little bit more to prepare for Luigi's Mansion at the end of the month. But Ace Attorney Fridays, I'm planning to fully return until later on in the game if we ever decide to premiere a video again. But that's the tea. I'm so glad you guys are here. And y'all aren't used to getting Michaela filming on the weekend thing because again, the videos are never posted on Sundays. Well, if they are, they've been filmed well in advance usually. So no root beer today. We do have a Premier Protein Shake in the Flavor Cafe Latte. It has caffeine. It's gonna get us where we need to go today. I gotta focus for this trial, okay? Especially after how the investigation went. Luckily, we're starting off with seven pieces of life. So hopefully we'll be good but I can use all the help I can get. So I hope you guys are sipping on something just as wonderful and cheers.
I still have a lot of theories floating around in my head as to what exactly happened as well. Honestly, guys, the whole theory of Luke being mask to mask, I don't think that's crazy. I really don't. That man is sketchy as heck. And it makes sense to me that mask to mask has never been caught if Luke has always been the one trying to find him. If they're the same person, duh. You know what I mean? I'm just not buying the whole Ron thing. I'm really not, but we'll see. Okay, episode two, The Stolen Turnabout, part two, Trial. Interestingly, it does not say 2-1. Does that mean it's only gonna be one day of trial? That would be kind of strange, but we'll see. October 13th, 9.36 a.m., getting an early start this morning, District Court Defendant Lobby, number four. Hey, Maya. All the people here, oh God. Do we have an audience? That's the last thing we need right now. Check out the Mask to Mask Glossy you bought. <sighs> Maya, why, okay. That's not appropriate. Why are we purchasing pictures of the enemy? That's not a good look, girl. Pearl! <laughs> That's crazy. Oh God, okay, well, what I'm gathering is that this trial is apparently highly publicized if it's drawing in massive crowds to the point where they're selling trinkets of the enemy. Not great. I know you are, girl. And you know what? I'm glad that you're at least self-aware enough to admit that. <laughs> mask to mask publicity photo. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, Ron. Perhaps I didn't say this ahead of time, and that's on me, okay? Because I didn't know I needed to. The first rule, if you're gonna ask me to defend you against a crime you're being accused of having committed, is to not loudly shout that you in fact committed the crime and should be punished. Again, my, that's on me. I didn't know I needed to say that, but let's never do that again. Thank you. Of course I made it, this is my job. And you're not doing yours, oh God. So then what are we doing here then? Then I'm good, I can take an, er listen, my work here is done. It's still early in the day. I can go sit on the beach, have a little mimosa. Like, what are we doing right now? <sighs> That's correct, Ron, but it does mean that I don't wanna be defending you. Oh, God. Great. No problem. No problem. You know what? No. You know what? No. No. Because another thing I remember I thought last video is I think somebody is paying this man to say all of these things. I think whoever did it found a little schlep off the street and they were like, hey, you want to make a quick buck? Okay. I want you to turn yourself in, pretend to be this guy. Yeah, it's not murder, right? It's not murder. So you, you're you not gonna get the death penalty. You'll get a few years, maybe like 10, 20, I don't know. It depends on how serious it is. Depends on how the sentencing goes. And then you'll be out and you'll be rich. That's why I think he needs to get convicted. convicted. I bet you that's part of the agreement, if you will. And now we have Desiree. And you know what? This just prompted me, let's take a look at the court record and do a quick refresh before we really get into everything. We have the attorney's batch. We have the Magatama. Here is the photo that was like the advertisement photo that had the sacred urn on it. As you guys can see, it does say I am instead of Amy because of Miss Pearly Girly Faye, who did in fact break it a couple cases ago and glued it back together, but she's still there. She's still kicking. We have the statue of Amy Faye, which was also part of the whole expo, which was moved on the night of the crime. It does have pink paint on the bottom right corner, bottom right, top right, whatever, back right corner, somewhere around there. Um, for some reason, we're not 100% certain of yet. That's the urn, priceless, but has no monetary value. Interesting, the calling card that was left 20 days prior to the actual heist. And we can check this. Oh yes, yes, yes. I will be coming to purloin the most priceless work of art on display. 
take good care of the speckled urn. Okay, cool. We got to remember that it says that. That is what prompted Adrian to hire Luke at me. We have the camera data, which is when the camera went off around 1 a.m. on the night of the crime because it sensed motion. The sheet Shishido, which is what knocked Luke unconscious. This is the actual photo that the camera took. Again, that's that's mask to mask. He does eerily resemble Ron in terms of his outfit. But again, if he was hired to turn himself in, he could have easily been given the outfit that mask to mask wears. That's easy. The blackmail letter that says, if you don't want your true identity revealed, come to KB security, bring 50K. If you don't, I'll take that red diamond you received the other day instead. That's interesting. And I want to really just kind of focus on the details of that because there's a lot going on in this little couple sentences here. But that's the blackmail letter that Ron apparently received. Okay. Ron's wallet returned by Larry. This is the key card found in the wallet that can get into the CEO's office and leaves a record when used. So I'm sure we're going to get that record later. And then finally, a shot of Mask to Mask, the publicity photo that Maya just spent actual real money on. Yeah. Okay. Really quickly, though, I want to compare these just to see if there's any difference. Along with the little rope tassel shoulder pad situations, we have his logo or something to that effect in the terms of what I mean, I'm just going to call it a necklace. I know it's not a necklace, but it's where a necklace would be. It kind of goes down. It spreads out. It's on his hat too. We have two feathers and then we have some pretty serious wrist cuffs going on with some gloves. And then let's take a look at this or not that one. This one. Okay. Okay. That little emblem is not there on his neck area. Interesting. Interesting. It does look like there's two feathers. It does look like it's on his hat. We have the shoulder pads. We have the wrists. We have the gloves, it looks like, but not that emblem. Huh. Huh. Very interesting, fam. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. I'm sure that will come into play later, perhaps. Hello, Desiree. Oh, you know what? I didn't even look at the people. <laughs> Phoenix, Mia, of course, Maya, Pearl, Gumshoe. Mask to mask. We do not know his age. Luke at me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ace detective. Ron Delight. Allegedly mask to mask. Very pitiful. Desiree Delight. Uh, the complete opposite of that man. <laughs> Adrian, of course. And Larry. Okay. Cool. Oh, okay. Well, let me know how you're going to do that. I would love all the help I can get at this point. Oh my God, bro. Yes, Desiree, what's up? Mm-hmm. Okay, I I'm really not scared of you, dude. Like, you... <laughs> You want to you want to see the list of people I've had to deal with who have threatened me at this point? You're just hop on it, hop on it. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. I heard Target got some new home decor in. Have have a blast. Thank you so much. Okay. I don't either, but I'm not believing it. And uh, we gotta, we, we have to find the truth either way. Now that we know our clients can in fact be guilty, it's possible. He sure doesn't. Okay. Thank you, Bailiff. All right. Oh my God. I'm nervous to see this new prosecutor. I have no idea what this person looks like. I'm, I'm, it's been so wonderful that I've gotten to play this game spoiler free. And you know what? Maybe we'll just make this a trend. Another great time to remind everyone, keep the comments spoiler free. Thank you so much. We had several offenders last video that were taken care of by my sister, the bailiff. I appreciate that. And I appreciate y'all reporting it. If it hasn't happened, if it has not been said explicitly, I don't want to know about it. Don't tell me. Don't allude. Don't hint. Don't tell me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ooh! He looked like a transformer. Hold on, hold on. Okay.
Okay, wait, I love the earrings. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Very tan, silver fox vibes with the hair. How old is this man? He looks... Maybe he just dyed it. He seems like the type that might dye it silver. Maybe he's not old. I'm not feeling the little striped vest situation, but the rest is giving. What's on his arm? There's like... Oh, it's on both arms. And I also don't like that I can't see his eyes. That's scary. What kind of glasses? Okay, anyways. <laughs> We're starting off strong, I see. All right, Judge, listen. Listen, Judge. Welcome, welcome to this case. Um, I can already tell you're going to have a terrible time, okay? I, I, I heard one sentence from the man, and it's not looking good for you. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to take a deep breath and I want you to gather every ounce of courage you have. Just think of all of the training, all of the cases you've judged, everything you've been through to make it to this point. And I want you to expel that. I want you to exude that, okay? Confidence. That's what we're going for for you today. Oh. <laughs> um, no, actually he's not. That's what the trial's for. <laughs> I'm talking about that's what I'm talking about judge that was a good response yes no no not no it's not actually I don't agree with that whatsoever <laughs> also he has a brunette like dark black brown beard so I do think he dyed his hair good zo hey good zo legendary pro of course you've never lost a case have any of you lost a case ever ever because if none of you have lost a case don't don't you find that a bit fishy just a tad okay are you in the thing yet dang i want to see how old he is he is he is the one and only of course it does yeah great question petty crimes missed me none what is what does that mean? What does that mean? Explain. <sighs> a while back, I said in a video, or my one of my lives, I don't remember, but I said, if you're out here claiming you've never lost a case before as an attorney, it's because you've never tried a case <laughs> or you've tried very few because that's just not realistic. Even the best attorneys lose because the best attorneys take the most difficult cases because somebody has to do it, right? That is a prime example. Oh, I've never lost a case because I've never tried a case, okay? Godot, it's giving joke. I'm losing respect by the second, I am. I I'm not gonna lie to you. I do really love the earrings though, those are really cute. Big fan of that. <laughs> exactly. You can't lose something you've never tried. <laughs> Okay, well, I at least appreciate the honesty. That's what I will say. A beginner is crazy. Huh. Okay. I like that. I'm back on. I'm back on. <laughs> yeah, the mask is, is odd. Okay, see... See, he keeps bouncing back and forth. He keeps saying things that I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. And then he'll say something like that. And it's like, dude, this is not the time or place. Take the mask off. We're in a court of law, please, please. Um, he's the real something, Maya. He's the real something. <laughs> so he's really gonna wear that this whole time? They just didn't wanna draw eyes. Lazy. Mr. Phoenix Trite? Close. Close. No. <laughs> I don't know. Well, now there are several people you could be. We Many, many people have gone to hell at this point, Godot.
Okay, now is he in the court record? Yes, age question mark? Dang it. Hi, Winston. Welcome to the video. Yeah. Say hello to the people. He said hello. Thank you so much for making an appearance. Shrewded in mystery. He seems to know me somehow. Okay, so I am ignoring this or have thus far because I don't want to acknowledge it because that's really scary. But the, the, the idea is we know who this is. Like he's, we faced him before. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I just remembered. I'm like, didn't Gant have a similar hair color? But Gant was way more built. Also way older looking, I feel like. Less slender. No, no, no. But who else could this be? I don't remember seeing anybody that looks like this unless he's wearing like a wig or something. But anyways, the idea is that we've seen him before, we've dealt with him before. I don't like that. I don't like that. And honestly, I have enough on my plate right now. I'm gonna choose to not think about that until it's become relevant because that's too much. That's too much. But no, if he's never tried a case before, who would he be? Anyways, okay. <laughs> Yes, Godot. Yes. What? 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 Yes, I am actually very familiar with that saying. Um, quite a bit, actually. And I'm so sorry. If you've never tried a case before, you're dealing with the wrong guy. I have literally, at this point, tried cases you would not even believe. So, not scary me. Not scaring me. Phoenix, stop sweating. I'm trying to seem confident. <sighs> okay. All right, Luke. Let's get it. Oh, I always forget Gumshoe's always the first guy. Hey, Gummy Gums. All right. <sighs> I was going to say, let's see what the relationship is with Gumshoe and this prosecutor, but I feel like they're all the same. They all just bully him, and that makes me sad. And no, we do need to know who he is so we can verify and validate what he knows, Godot. You wouldn't know that because you've never done this before because you're a baby, but we'll learn together. We'll learn together. I'm happy to walk you through it. So now the judge is asking the witness questions. So what's the point of the prosecutor being here then? <laughs> like, what are we doing? What are we doing? That does happen in real life sometimes, but not this early. It's usually if the judge wants clarification on something, not to set the entire direct examination up, but I digress. Mass to Mass's crime. Started his crime spree six months ago. Oh, so he's not new to this. Well, he is new to this and he's true to this. Interesting. So about one spree a month for the past six months. He's been a busy man. Busy, busy. Yeah, that's, that's the part that's crazy to me. Because why would you, even if you're the best criminal, why would you warn people you're about to commit the crime? You're just setting yourself up for failure, I fear, but apparently not because he's been successful this entire time. Correct. Okay. I just want to know why he wanted the urn specifically, because if it's worthless, price-wise, what, what does it matter to him? Like, its value is very high to the Faye family, but to a random man, I don't get it. I don't get it. Hello? man has lost his mind he think what is what do you what do you think this is dude okay i'm I, what are, what is happening <sighs> who slid that cup to him i want to know I want to know who slid that cup to him. Like, I don't know. Like, okay. 
If this were literally any other scene, I'd be like, yes, I love, like, but we're in a court of law, guys. We're on, we're at a trial. And this man is talking about how black his coffee is. Sir. <laughs> like, it's not that it's not allowed. It's just like, did you need to make a big scene of it? You know? And it's also, in a, who brings a coffee mug outside of their house? Okay, anyways. Yeah, let's just get into it. I'm gonna cross-examine Gumshu, Maya. What do you think? Oh, okay, sure. I mean, I don't know how we're gonna do that considering the photo we have, which again, very clearly shows mask to mask, I feel like. Let me see. See it again. Okay, okay. So it does clearly show mask to mask. It does not clearly show the urn. He just has a box. However, Maya did make a big deal about the fact that she constructed that box. And I mean, she can tell us whether that box is the one with the urn in it. Then again, even if it is the box, it does not mean it has the urn in it because we can't see the urn in the photo. Another interesting thing I want to point out, I just noticed, is the paint has already been spilled in this photograph. And that's something I feel like we need to remember potentially for later. However, the paint was spilled, it was already spilled, and the statue of Amy was already moved, it looks like as well, before this person came out with that box. So, good to note, good to note. All right, six months ago. Except, except at me apparently, but again, he might be the thief. He really might. Um, okay. I don't need you saying that too. <laughs> I really don't. I, I, no, Maya, I don't know what this man's saying. Yeah, just, just don't even ignore that. Right, because no, no one has ever slipped through your fingers, Gumshoe. Nobody can get past you. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's fair. <laughs> I do. I do mean him. He, yeah, Judge, his name's Luke. I don't know why we're calling him that. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Listen, he said it, not me. Yeah, yeah. Do you still have possession of all of them? Except... Oh, yes! Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So I have that though. We have the calling card right here. Huh. I wonder if this calling card matches the rest of the calling cards. Maybe it doesn't and that's why Luke didn't want it to be brought to the police, which why would that be the case? I don't know, but interesting. Oh, okay, so you have seen it. Just you didn't see it before. I see, I see, I see. Right. The symbol. Oh, well, we know it's a symbol. Yep. Okay, you can't object, and Godot's being awfully quiet. So, interesting, because he should be objecting, but again, he's new. He doesn't know what the fork he's doing. But Gumshoe, you still can't object, babe. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so whose fault was it? 
Oh, okay. Alright. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? Um, so I see what your point is, right? Like, we, we should, in theory, do that. However, if you have, in fact, admittedly screwed up four times already, trust, it's just not really there, you know? It's just not really there. So far, I'm not seeing anything contradictory, by the way. Tier of Aminon. That sounds like a Zelda game. <laughs> Blue diamond. A single rare diamond. Okay. So the Tier of Aminon was a blue diamond. And in this <clears throat> letter, if you don't bring the $50,000, I'll take that red diamond you receive. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I'll take that red diamond you received the other day. So maybe one of his subsequent heists was a red diamond. Crown of Bongora. Okay. None of those sound like red diamonds. Left hand of Hades and the portrait of Magina. That's weird. Detective Atme retrieved the portrait and returned it to the museum. Okay. Money... Money, okay, sorry. I've just triggered a memory from the last video. Money Heist, that was the name of the show. <laughs> sacred Earth, Sacred Earth. Okay, so he stole a blue diamond. I'm sorry, I'm going back to that because that's weird. Maybe that's the contradiction. If you don't, I'll take that red diamond. Now, it's kind of weird that he said the other day because if that was his first heist, that means it was six months ago. And not many people refer to the other day as being six months prior, but still, something to note. Black market. At all. Doesn't look the type, doesn't act the type at all. Huh, well that's all we have so far. Yeah, what do you mean by that? Be more specific, please, gummy gums. Right. Okay. Okay. Got you there. Okay. I mean, the only thing that's really unique about that, though, is the calling card. Obviously, if you're going to do a heist, you research the security wherever you're going to rob. So that's not really unique at all. And him wanting an art piece... I don't know, Gumshoe. Seems like the MO for many different types of criminals. Yeah, I don't know. There's something weird going on here for sure. Right. We don't, I mean, we don't really though. Okay. Interesting. So if we're trying to show that it was not mask to mask, I do like the whole red diamond, blue diamond thing, but on one of these statements, I'm interested. Precious art pieces. Priceless. Y'all picking up what I'm putting down? Like, if he wants to steal precious art pieces, I don't know. I mean, it's not exactly contradictory because precious doesn't mean expensive, but... Hmm. I don't know. I don't like that blue-red thing either. It's a blue diamond, red diamond. Eh. But again, I, I always think back to the person who commented like really early on in these videos, don't present based off of the subsequent text that happens after you press, present on the original text. And the original text does not contradict the whole red blue thing. So I think we're gonna leave that alone for now. 
for now. So I feel like the last, I feel like this is our statement. I do. And again, his MO is calling card. I don't think I can prove that it's not authentic right now. So I think we have to assume it is. He knew all about the security system. Okay. That's interesting though, because if he knew about the security system, why would he allow himself to be photographed? So that could be a contradictory piece of evidence as well. And then his target was an art piece. Is this considered an art piece? No, I don't, I don't know if this is art. There's like a couple options I feel like are solid options here, honestly. I feel like we can present the urn. I also feel like we can present this photo. But maybe that's not what he means by security system. Hmm. I feel like we should start with the urn. I do. I, I, I feel that in my gut. Let's try it. Because again, if he wants to steal famous or whatever precious art pieces, that's not what this is. Okay, okay, let's go. <laughs> Wait, I'm actually so proud of myself right now. Hmm. Exactly. My point exactly! Maya, Maya, I'm not trying to say it's not worth something. I'm just, let me do my job, girl. This is not the time to get offended. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Who else would want to steal the urn though? Morgan, Morgan, show yourself. <laughs> no, no, no. Morgan's in jail or in hell. Probably both. Um. Who else would want that? I don't know. That's weird. The appraisers I spoke to said they couldn't attach a price to it. Yeah. Yeah. So you're agreeing with me, Godot? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Glad we're all on the same page. Exactly, Your Honor. That is precisely what I'm saying. Haha. <laughs> -ha. I'm sorry. That was the loudest gulp I have ever heard in my entire life. I feel like he did that earlier, but this one just stood out. And I didn't love it. I didn't love it. It's kind of in between. Like, one thing about me, I hate, hate the sound of people eating and drinking things. I hate it. What's that called? There's a name for that. Is that mis... No. Misophonia? I don't know. Regardless, it's one of those things. I hate that. But then again, like, some cartoonish animated drinking sounds like that are, like, fine. And that kind of falls in between for me. <laughs> It's your own, so you're a barista. Wow, multifaceted. You're, you're trying to decide that right now, right, right now in the courtroom? Okay, okay. He confuses me a lot. So far we've had prosecutors that have been very hellbent on doing their job and making sure they get a guilty verdict. And Godot seems to really not care at all about what's going on. So that's new. Kind of refreshing, honestly, kind of refreshing. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> hmm. 
Maybe, or someone else who just wanted the burn? <laughs> Fake Damask. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, wait, I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I kinda, I've, okay, here's, here's, here, this is gonna be so stupid sounding, but like, for whatever reason, it's a combination of the coffee and this music. It reminds me of Animal Crossing. It really does. It reminds me of The Roost, which is the coffee shop. And like, uh, just brings me such happy feelings. Not that this is in any way similar or comparable, but just, I don't know, that particular situation, I kind of love it. I kind of love it. I do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't love the gold, but I, I can I can deal with it. I can deal with it. Okay. Proof, you ask. So can we get into the whole big arse emblem missing from his neck situation? Okay. Oh, right now. <laughs> okay. I mean, guys, I don't want to overthink this. I feel really good about that. Ooh, but which one would we prove? I mean, which one would we use? We have this photo where he doesn't have that thing. What are we going to call it? Just an emblem, I guess. It's not really an emblem right now. Okay, whatever. Where he doesn't have the, the neck emblem, okay? And then we have this photo proving that that's what he usually does have. So I feel like we present the security photo, right? But before we, before we jump into that though, proof that the person at Lordly Taylor was a fake. Is there anything else that we have that would help that? No, I don't think so. I feel good about this. I really do. I think I was right. Okay, okay. Wait, really? Oh my god. Happily! Happily! Wait, I'm so excited! Okay, right here. We gotta get it right. We gotta get it right. Boom. Stop. I'm living. Uh, wow, I really called that. Go me. Brooch. Brooch, brooch, brooch. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry, can everyone, can we just have a, a, a group ear cleaning? Because I don't know, how did you hear breach? What? <laughs> Jeez. Exactly, exactly. Gorgeous. Exactly, because it wasn't mass damask. It was fake damask. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yay. Sorry, Gumshoe, you didn't mean to throw you under the bus here, but I'm just doing my job. Uh. <laughs> Wait, Judge, I'm so proud of you. Keep going. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just, I, guys, I love the music. I love his music. I'm, I'm having so many feelings right now. Oh my, it just, it's just so nostalgic. Guys, Animal Crossing was, it got me through the pandemic, okay? It came out in March of 2020, and that was my full-time job. I was still in law school, so I did my little law schooling, okay? And then I played Animal Crossing for like 10 hours a day for a long time. It, it's just so good. It makes me so happy. Oh, okay. We gotta move on from that. We gotta focus. We gotta focus. Why the heck do you have the brooch? <laughs> oh 
Huh, that's interesting. <laughs> Big female Buddha statue. Yeah, <laughs> close enough. It was hidden in the shadows, so it fell off? No! Nope! No, it's not. It's not at all, actually. Um, what I will say though, for someone as confident as Mask to Mask is, for someone so confident to send their calling card before he actually commits the crime, to allow such an irresponsible error, to allow your brooch to fall off and be left at the crime scene and to not notice nor retrieve it, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I I'm not buying that one either. That just doesn't seem in accordance with his level of experience and expertise. Uh, Ron Delight's fingerprints? They were found on the brooch? Oh, God. Of course they are. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be at this point? <laughs> I really don't know how I feel about Godot. Like, I, I love him, but I don't like him at all. It's some I don't know. I, I'm really, really indifferent so far or confused. Okay. She, I mean, it appears to have been torn off. Torn off like in a scuffle? Let's look at that photo again. I didn't see any loose shreds of clothing. Yeah, he looks perfectly tidy to me. If it was torn off, don't you think we'd see some resemblance of that here? Hmm. That's really strange. With who though? If if Luke was unconscious, then who who was the struggle between? <laughs> Found in the shadow of Amy Face statue, looks like it was torn off some clothing. Okay. What are you gonna finish that off with? Oh, okay. Yeah. Whatever. Not your best, not your best. Oh, okay. Bye, Gumshoe. <laughs> yeah, that was actually very quick and unhelpful, but thanks, thanks, Gummy Gums. You did your job, I guess. <laughs> oh my God. Gumshoe, I hope you have an outlet to just release all of the feelings of just getting verbally punched every single day of your life in your job outside of your job like dang and if you do have a journal i would love to read it because god the verbal warfare that this man suffers through regularly is it's it's ridiculous <laughs> all right now it should be luke yes all right not too shabby Huh. Speaking of looks I do not like, it's just his nose for me. <laughs> what is wrong with this man? Really, just now, like ju just in this last second? Right? Was was that news to you? Wow, I am so proud of you for being able to identify court personnel. You're doing a great job. Great job. Okay, this is like a like walking into a classroom. 
looking around and being like, aha, here we have a teacher and a student. Really, dude? What are we talking about? Penetrate my secret veil. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. A lot of innuendos in this case so far, but we'll let that one slide. Rising star illuminating the heavens. Not how I would describe you, but continue. No, literally, 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 literally. Which head? Right. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> Guys, he's not even here anymore. Please leave that man alone. Like, dang. <sighs> yeah, let's let's just get right into it. <laughs> One o'clock in the morning, just after the date changed. What? The date changes at midnight. What the heck does that mean? His nemesis. Okay. Dancingly descended upon him. Okay. So, this is a memory, not a photo, right? Because the photos have the border, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Border... Border, no border. Okay, well, then that kind of disproves everything I was about to say. But just to clarify, this is a memory, right? Because if it's not a memory, I mean, this is obviously not a photo. Look how big the moon is. But his brooch is present. But again, I think this is just in his head, so it's fine. Okay. So he noticed somebody behind him. Just as he turned around, he was struck in the head by the she Chishido. <laughs> Okay, he was knocked unconscious. When he woke up, nobody was there. 30 minutes later, 30 minutes after you woke up or 30 minutes after you were hit? I'm guessing when you were hit, I used an emergency phone to notify the police. Okay, it's the first time I'm hearing about a 911 call. Can we get the 911 records? In real life, you can get the 911 call records. You can get a CAD report, and you can get the actual phone call because they're recorded. So would love to hear that, but I don't think we're going to be able to hear that today. Except when you're sleeping because you've been struck in the head. Right. So so the answer is no. That, that's what you meant. Yeah, the answer is just no. You know, you... Same, Judge. Same. We are on the same page here. Sir Old Timer. Oh my god. The King of Thieves. Right. Right. Years of experience. Years doing what, dude? He's only been at this for six months, so you're already lying. <laughs> you know, Judge, I'm not really sure what to cross there, but I, I guess I can try. Didn't really give me much. <laughs> Okay. Right. A penetrating. Why are we penetrating everything in this case? Like, geez, I was at, I was in the basement warehouse near the computer. Interesting. The paint cans and the statue were on the other side of the door. We'll just call it the right side for purposes of simplicity. He was on the left side. Okay. So if that's the case and he was struck on the left side near the computer, why was there a paint can with paint spilled everywhere knocked over on the right side of the door? So that means somebody else had to be involved in the scuffle. Which, duh, he was unconscious, but 
That's weird. Right? Right. Okay. Um, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I just ignored this, but I, I want to say it because it's weird. But it's probably fine. I noticed the big honker on that man's left hand, okay? He's wearing a massive red ring. And, like, it's probably fine. It's probably nothing. It's probably nothing. But it's interesting how this blackmail letter threatens to take a red diamond. And he's also wearing gloves. Like Mask to Mask's gloves. Guys, is Luke Mask to Mask? I think, I, I think that theory might be a theory. I'm just saying. I don't know. Weird, weird stuff. But anyways, he dancingly descended. Continue. Okay. <laughs> His foot falls. Okay. Subtly camouflaged cape and soft soled shoes. <laughs> Alright, don't think we got anything there. Struck a fierce blow upon my noble head. Okay. At all. Right. Welcome back, Winston. Okay. <clears throat> I keep forgetting that man's here. This is the quietest prosecutor so far. I, I'm kind of liking it. Kind of nice to not be getting interrupted and objected to every five seconds for doing literally nothing. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Funny you ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need to get into that again. That was freaking crazy. Yeah, I was in fact knocked unconscious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Thank you, Maya. Thank you, Maya. Fair. That's fair. That's fair. Um, rude. And not how that works. <laughs> okay, so far, still nothing I'm sta jumping out at me. What? Me neither. Oh. Uh-huh. Right. It contradicts the evidence that he was knocked unconscious before he could fight back. Are we referring to the brooch? Interesting. Okay. So, huh. Okay, I'm gonna, this I do wanna do a quick run through just to be certain. Standing by the cameras, I mean by the computer. 
Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> did not door dance nor descend. Came in from the entrance. How did you not notice? Eyes were looking for shadows while I was listening. Snuck up on me. Okay. Struck a fierce blow. Security camera. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> unconscious before he could attack. So that's probably going to be our statement. Okay. Doesn't know what happened in 30 minutes because he was unconscious. Okay. How could he not have noticed when the thief came in and how he says he was unconscious before he could fight back and that contradicts the evidence. Okay. So then I think we know that that's our statement, guys. I think darkness swallowed me before I could land a single strike when I awoke he was gone is our statement. So what piece of evidence do we have that can confirm that he did in fact fight back? And I think it's the brooch, right? Because if it has cloth on it, it, it was pulled from clothing apparently. So somebody had to fight the man. Even though, again, I still believe it was somebody else, but maybe it wasn't. Maybe he is lying. I don't know. But I mean, that's that's really what we have to prove that he did fight back. Because this is what happened when he was hit originally. Yeah, that's really all we have. Nice. Freaking nice. <laughs> Does it? How interesting. Okay. Yup. How weird. How super strange and weird. Oh. So brooches actually are not glued. I don't know what kind of brooches you have, but they have a pin in the back. Why would you? Oh my God, that doesn't even make sense. Okay. Oh. Correct. Someone. Period. Huh. <laughs> guys I'm so proud of the judge right now like this man is really actually ordering the court like what what a concept oh here we freaking go that is <sighs> no no, it's not. No, it's not. Maya! Shut up! <laughs> oh, now you're you're actually gonna say something. Okay, let's hear it. Your rules? No one cares, but I guess we can get into another line of testimony. Fight with the thief. All right, here we go, guys. Okay. <sighs> you seem pretty easily discombobulated to me. The thief grabbed a weapon from the side and rendered me senseless. Okay. And that's all she wrote, folks. Hmm. 
his third crime. Uh huh. Um, you should not be admitting that. What the heck? What? <laughs> oh, judge, judge, judge. What are we going to do with you? <laughs> okay. Okay. This is news to me. Let's hear it. The alarm had gone off, so he went to check the data on the computer. Okay, okay. Yes, apps. Oh, oh, oh. Not that's enough. About the sensor, absolutely. I want to know what sensors he has. Okay. Very good, very good. A cat door. D-Killer. Show yourself, too. What? We, we've had enough of you. We don't need you back. Heat detecting infrared and ultraviolet sensors. Interesting, interesting. Okay, okay. Correct. Okay, okay. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay, so let me go back. So now we can ask more about the computer. Ah. Okay, so he doesn't have the equipment, but he does have the program. Interesting. That's true. Not great. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Okay. Listen, Judge, I love a good discombobulated every now and then, but not the time or the place. <laughs> It means thrown off. It means frazzled. Oh my god. Duh. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. Can we go back to the witness? Okay. Great. I'm so... That was very helpful. <laughs> okay. except you weren't hiding and you were in plain sight. The Shichishito. True. Yes. Okay, so far so good. Okay, okay. Second in charge. <laughs> right? <laughs> Is that why he wears gloves? Because his hands are so messed up? His first blow struck true. Bam, and that's all she wrote. Power -icious. Noted. Noted. The at me fighting stance, this man is just saying words at this point. A sudden flash of light blinded me? A sudden flash of light? Yes! Bathed in a golden light coming from the statue? What? Oh. Uh, okay. Interesting. Okay. 
So he's at the computer. He notices one of the sensors or whatever. He turns around. He sees Mask to Mask. He tries to rip off the, or he tries to stop him. He rips off the brooch. Maybe Mask to Mask falls backward into the paint can, knocks the paint on the floor. That's how the statue gets moved and goes flying. Blinds Luke. Mask grabs the sword and then knocks him unconscious? I don't know, Maya. I'm really not sure. Well, yeah, that's not news. Huh. Okay, well, let's go back to that statement and press the other option. Oh, hold on. All right, tell me about this at me fighting style. <laughs> yeah, it's a, except it's not, and you can, and you need to. Thank you. Put your back to the wall, that way no one can get behind you, okay? Oh god, here we go. His back was to the wall, so no one could get behind him. Huh, why would that be important? I'm not sure. I mean, luckily my life bar is not flashing, so I don't think it matters what I choose is like right now, but let me kind of choose both. I'll start with it's a waste of time. Okay, so let me go back and say it matters. It's very important, Your Honor. <laughs> oh. So what didn't actually matter? Oh, yeah, okay, 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 interesting. All right, we got more testimony, you guys. I put my back to the wall to fight, but the thief's blow landed upon my third eye. Didn't you say your third eye was the camera, dude? Like, make up your mind. <laughs> okay, that, that third eye, I see. So a blow to the forehead? Okay. <sighs> Apparently. Yeah, me too. Okay. Well, that's pretty clearly going to be our statement. So let's go back to that. And see what we have. I mean, you'd think there'd be a scar, right? I mean, I got guess not necessarily, but let's see. Ah, well, this literally says back up ahead. So, I mean, that's pretty clear. But it only says back of the head because he had misremembered, right? Or was that proven in a different way? I mean, I guess it was. Guys, please, like, like, they're not even trying to hide it at this point. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, that was what he, well, but again, so yeah, what I was saying was I don't really see how that's a contradiction because he had said that he was hit in the back of the head. But then he later claimed today that he had misremembered that. 
So it makes sense that he said something different the day before. I don't know. I mean, I guess if you are struck hard enough to be unconscious, to not be knocked unconscious, when you wake up, you're going to be hurting on your head, right? Wherever you were struck. Hmm. Uh-huh, it seems. It seems. Oh, God. Phoenix, Phoenix. Let's let's stop while we're <laughs> Oh, oh, we're we're getting into this now. Let's get into it. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Godot. Please save it for your group therapy session. This is not the time. You can't make a mistake by lying under oath, dude. It's not that simple. Oh my god. Did y'all see that coffee? No. Absolutely not. That is the blood. No. That is not. He's drinking squid ink, you guys. Y'all, this man is not drinking coffee. I don't know what is in that cup, but that is incredibly concerning. Incredibly concerning. Holy crap. Okay. Okay, Professor Layton. <laughs> Turn things around. I think things have been going very well for us so far, Phoenix. Mr. At Me is no ace detective. I mean, true, but I don't think that's the answer. This Mr. At Me is a fake. I don't think that's the answer either. Mr. At Me is masked and masked. Y'all, if I called this from the beginning, don't ever talk to me again, okay? Respectfully. <laughs> this yes yes oh my god wait if I'm right I'm gonna lose my freaking mind I really am exactly Exactly. Exactly! Right. Why are you sweating so bad then at me? Huh? You're, you're moistening the courtroom floor. I, I would ask you to please stop unless you're, of course, guilty then. Please continue. <laughs> exactly! Exactly! The nose being hidden is, is what's the only thing that's stopping me, but still. <laughs> exactly. Ace thief. Ooh, 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 ooh. You go, ace judge. There's he's not gonna admit it, is he? Really? Whoa, wait, wait. Damask's MO is pure genius, and so am I, Luke at me, Ace Detective. So you're admitting it? I'm so sorry. I'm so no, no 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 no. Before we get into that, 
First of all, why was his voice so deep? Second of all, now Phoenix is getting coffee mugs thrown in his head? Oh God. Like, you know that syndrome that football players get a lot, whatever the name of it is, where they get hit so many times, especially in the head that they like develop that issue mentally and all of that stuff cognitively. How does Phoenix not have that at this point? This man presumably just threw hot, hot, because he said it was hot earlier actually, didn't he? A, a glass mug of hot coffee, hotter than hell, at Phoenix's head? And why did he look like that? That was giving Pajama Sam. Very niche reference, unless you grew up playing PC games like I did. That, he looked like Pajama Sam. Oh my God. That's crazy. Is it crazier than the whip? That's another conversation. <laughs> Guys, he looks like Pajama Sam. Oh my god! Uh, wait, wait, I just realized, why is the coffee cup just staying on his head like that? <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay. Wait, no, we're just gonna leave it like that? Wow, that's crazy. Why is the mug just staying on his forehead? <laughs> Decisive proof. Okay. Oh, I'm glad we cleaned ourselves up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Here we go, guys. For all the marbles. For all the marbles. Decisive evidence that proves Luke at me is mask to mask. Okay, do we have that? No, 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 no. Maybe, maybe not. The red diamond thing though. That might be our best shot if there is a shot to have to be had. Ron, key card, publicity photo. No, the only thing, the only thing we would have is this threat, this whoa, 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 this threatening letter. But this doesn't prove that he's mask to mask. That just would prove that he threatened Ron. Mm -mm. I don't think we have proof, you guys. I don't think we have proof. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I do have some evidence, but it is circumstantial. It's not decisive. Okay. Hi, Franklin. Welcome to the video, Shagups. <laughs> Franklin says hello, everyone. He has come at the perfect time as usual. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh, Desiree, what are you doing here? Um, yeah, it, it actually does. Desiree, you didn't. You freaking brought the bag? Desiree. Desiree, you freaking queen. Oh my god. What? What? Desiree. Wait. 
Wait. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold on. I know, okay, we can't see it here, but uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. That's a fake. That's a fake. That's a fake. Whoa. This is the urn, you guys. The one that Pearl glued back incorrectly. It spells I am instead of Amy, which it originally said. This spells Amy very clearly. It is glued back together, though. It does have pink paint on it, but I think it's a fake. What the heck is going on? It's an urn, but is it the urn? Why would y'all go through the trouble of gluing it back properly? Why would you do that? That makes no sense. In Luke Abby's office. Huh. I mean, that still does help us in this current situation, so I'll take it. Ron, where, where are you? I'm dead. Sacred urn found in the office of Luke Atme has pink paint all over it. Hmm. I'm sorry. His voice is so not like I thought it would sound. <laughs> Mm. Oh my god, dude. Get a podcast already. Correct. And what about it? So what if she's the defendant's wife? God, here we go. Here we freaking go. But I was there. I saw it too. I saw the bag at least. But he's not wrong. He's not wrong. Hmm. Hmm. But that's why chain of command is so important, you guys. Like, if you find a piece of evidence, you you can't just grab it and then bring it to the police or to the court. Because there's no way to prove where you found it, when you found it, how you found it. That's why the cops have to do it and then hope to God that they, tr you know, keep track of where they found it, how they found it, when they found it, whatever. When they moved it, where they moved it to, etc. The chain of command so that... You know, it's it, you can't really get questioned like this. Hmm. I mean, I can test about testify about what I saw because I did see the back, but I didn't see the urn. Remember, you guys, I think Desiree felt inside of the bag and said that she felt something large. Um, smooth and hard <laughs> but I never actually saw what was inside of it I don't know what fingerprints I, I don't know anything about fingerprints so I'm not going to say that right now I, I that, this is the best option did we did we check out the bag see exactly we didn't see it. Oh, God. Right. Exactly. Mm. Mm. Huh. Thank you. Never, Your Honor. Never. We don't give up over here. Okay, like, what fingerprint? Okay, we're gonna have to go with that then. I don't, I don't know what finger- I don't remember there being fingerprints that we're aware of, but 
let's try it, I guess. I mean, do we have someone who can take fingerprint analysis, like, right now? He is wearing gloves, though, too. Not really helpful. Gosh, freaking darn it. That's so true. As I said. Well, I'm glad we got to see all this dialogue then. That's nice. I guess we don't have anything then. I guess we don't have anything then. Someone must have left their fingerprints on it. Who would someone be? Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on. So we brought it back to the office. There's no people in our evidence, I want to say. Unless Amy Faye left her fingerprints, in which case we have bigger problems on our hands. So. Oh. Oh, Desiree? Desiree's. Desiree's fingerprints. She touched it. But also, that would that even matter? Because. Wait. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me just finish this. Mmm. Mm. That's fine, Your Honor. I got six pieces left. You don't scare me. Okay. I mean, that's not news. <laughs> okay. Oh. Right. Guys, please. You're you're kidding me right now. What is going on? What is no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the person who left their prints on the urn yesterday at the Atme Detective Agency. So me? Wait, why would it even give me the option to say no? Maybe I should have said that. I don't know. I can't remember if I felt it or not, but I would be the only other person I would choose. If, if it's not me, I feel like we should press nobody. case. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I just want to chat. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. You sure did, Phoenix. <sighs> yep. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, listen, I'll take it, I'll take it. Oh! That's correct, but I didn't want to bring that up. Ah! True, true, true. Correct. When I was in Luke at me's office. Ah. Uh huh. Too bitter. Yeah, too bitter. I figured. I figured such. Was Steve just coming out of his ears? Oh my god. I love the coffee thing. I really freaking love that. I do. I do. Why? What are we waiting for? Really? There's not? Are you going to admit it? Are you going to admit it? Are you going to cough it up? Of course you do. Of course you do. Oh, he's just literally admitting it now. Oh, he looks like he's... 
he looks like he's cracked out. Mo? <laughs> wow, I was not expecting that. And I'm also thoroughly confused because there's no way this case is only gonna be two videos long. What is going on? His condition? Oh yeah, yeah, he's gone, Your Honor. He he's left the building mentally. <laughs> what? Not parally close to be smirching the record of an innocent young man. Yeah, Judge, you do that a lot. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the one part of my theory that was incorrect was that he disassociates from his body and then forgets his crimes that he commits, but I still call that he was the criminal, you guys. <sighs> okay. What? Oh my god, duh. Ron, what more could you possibly have to say about this dude? You're not mask to mask. I need you to let it go. I need you to let it go. God. Oh my God, bro. I just don't, what is this dude's issue? I really don't know what his problem is. Like, I am so confused. proven run let me let me clue you in on something babe your confession doesn't matter because the evidence does not support it okay we have literally proven that someone else is in fact masked to mask he also confessed but the evidence supported his confession do you do you see the difference know what's going on. Oh my god. <laughs> no one does, Ron. Don't don't worry. Yeah, prove it. We're all waiting, dude. We're all freaking waiting. Okay, great. Go ahead. Go ahead. Not kind of cute. <laughs> Why are we even entertaining? This is ridiculous. <sighs> uh-huh. Actually, we already did. You and 500,000 other people in this city. Oh, you dancingly descended. I see. Okay. Okay. Right. You snagged it on the door handle. The door handle is up to your chest or how tall are you, dude? No, can we move on now? Can we just move? We don't, I don't need to, to cross that. <laughs> I literally don't need to cross that, your honor. I, I have nothing to say to that whatsoever. Huh? Oh, okay. I am, I am so confused. I'm so confused. Is it, Your Honor, do I have to? Do I really have to? This is ridiculous. What is the purpose? Oh, <sighs> 
Right. I'm sure you do. Exactly. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just gonna press harder anyway. You don't say. I wonder why she wouldn't believe you. Uh huh. Literally. Okay. <laughs> A desiaholic, you say. Continue, continue. <laughs> we already did! Uh... Oh my god. Put me out of my misery. This is ridiculous. Jeez. Seriously, Maya, why are you supporting this? <sighs> this is ridiculous. This is literally insane. think so, but let's look. Alright. Vince had an alibi. Oh! The urn picture changed to this one. Interesting. Okay. Thought they would make it a separate entry for some reason. Oh, you know what? Yes, he had an alibi! This! Okay, you know what? Okay, that's very interesting. That is something I kind of a little bit noticed, but it didn't really make sense to me. So I think mentally I just like, eh, put it out. At the time of the security photo, it was 12.58 AM, right? That was when Mask to Mask was photographed coming out of the warehouse with the alleged urn. At the same time, Ron was supposed to be at KB security two minutes after. And there was some talk last video about the distance between those two places. It was like 30 minutes or I don't know, something like that longer than two. Okay. Now I don't think this proves it necessarily, but the wallet potentially proves it if this doesn't because the wallet was found at 1 AM in KB security. So that's going to be my proof. So yes. Yeah, judge. Yeah, because this is ridiculous. Oh my god. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Two pieces. Oh god. That proves where your client was. Easy. That's that they they led me right to it, okay? Okay, well actually no, it could still be either one of these. Found in the KB security building around 1 a.m. the night of the crime. Or this. Probably the wallet. I think the wallet. Yeah. Feel good about that. Haha. -ha. Yeah, are you missing it? Oh, you lost it. How weird. Do you want to know where I found it? Or where it was found, rather? Oh, my God, Judge. Can it, dude? This is not the time. This is not the time. Interesting. How interesting. Okay, got it. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm dead serious. Dead serious. Yeah. Yeah. Bruh, I'm, I'm so glad we all had this little show, but can we move on now? Can we move on now? Like, exactly. There we go. There we go. And we all know Larry is a very reliable source of information. God, why are we encouraging this? Planted it. Desi? I mean, she, she would have been the only other person that would have had access to it, right? Really reaching. Really reaching. Yep. What, Godot? What? Motive for what? Oh, well, guys, these, these are gimmies at this point. No problem, Your Honor. Just say the word. Just say the freaking word. Happily. Happily. I just provided to you? Okay, who was that? Was it Gumshoe? I've got to remember now. No, no, no. It was Larry. It was Larry. It was Larry. It was Larry. Yes. Yes. Someone I really don't want on the stand right now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Judge, why are we playing for Gitsies? Come on now. Come on. I mean, he's not super remember memorable. Wow, that's a little much. <laughs> yeah, are we about to have our fourth freaking witness of the day? Because that's a little much, don't we think? Don't we think? A record, all right. Exactly. But we don't have that. And also, we don't need that. Why are we still entertained? 
Did this man just drink a sip of coffee simply to spit it out in dramatic effect? What is happening? Kane Bullard. Kane Bullard. Kane Bullard. Kane Bullard. Kane Blurred? Blurred? That's the only thing I'm getting, but I don't I don't know about that one. I don't know if there's a pun here. If there is, let me know. But KB, Kane Bullard. Okay. But his assistant? Oh, okay. Already? So much for a recess. Okay. Great. Case closed. Case closed. Found in Ron's wallet used on October 12th, the night of the crime at 1 a.m. Wonderful. So glad we are all here together. So can we move on now? Correct. Wonderful. I love to see it. Truer words have never been spoken. No, no one has any further objections. Okay, God, I am so confused. Did we use all of the evidence? I mean, we didn't use all of it. We, we, I guess, addressed most of it. Is that really the whole case? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. This is so odd. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Don't worry about it, girl. Chalk it up to the game at this point. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Not Pearl getting defensive of Maya. Oh my god. Pearl, absolutely not. We will not be doing that. We will, that's not an appropriate way to handle your emotions. And also, what is wrong with you slapping a grown man? Stop it. God. Thank you. Yeah. What? Bro. This is... <laughs> I cannot. Okay, yep, yep. All's well that ends well. Great. Great. what this man's problem is, but he needs massive help. Okay. You, you sure are, Ron. You sure are. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night. Doesn't seem like it. Good dough. Good dough. Listen, we've had this conversation with your predecessors. This is the defendant lobby. 
you should not be here. What, 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 what do you want? What could you possibly need at this point? Who, who and who is that? Me. Your, your newest buddy. And what are you thanking me for? Teaching you how to do your job to a decent level? I mean, what, what, what are we talking about here? What? <laughs> Wait, really? Oh no. Oh no. Did it Oh my god, bro. I should have known. It's never that easy. Franklin, Ron's going to be accused of murder. We're back. We're so back. <laughs> oh, this is really bad, actually. Yeah. 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 You're here to arrest my client, aren't you? You're here to arrest him. Yeah. So what you're saying is Ron should have just kept his stupid mouth shut. Yeah. Okay. Well, not great. You know, to be fair, I don't know if this man can even feel rage. Like, have you met him? <laughs> right? An anti-alibi indeed. Yeah, it's not good. It's not, it's not good. It's not good. Yeah. Couldn't have been stealing something because he was too busy killing someone. That's, that's great. That's just wonderful. Yeah, Desi, buckle up, girl. We are just getting started, apparently. <laughs> We were this close, you guys. This close? Gosh freaking darn it, bro. Gosh freaking darn it. <laughs> oh my lord. No, not that I'm aware of Pearl. I don't know who this man is. I'm sorry to tell you, this man could be walking by me on the street. I wouldn't know a thing. Okay? Word to Kiki Palmer. <sighs> Who are you, dude? Bye, Ron. Should have kept your mouth shut. Yeah. That's actually crazy. I love the sap! Oh my god. Yeah. Well, it was also kind of him as well, but, you know. Oh. If it ain't one thing, it's another. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh my god, y'all. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I love this case so far. I love the setup from robbery to murder. I should have known it was never gonna be that simple, okay? If Ace Attorney does one thing, it does murder cases, okay? KB, what did Kane do? Oh, what's the motive? Okay, well, he came was blackmailing him potentially, but did Ron do it? If he didn't, I don't know who did. Oh my God, I'm so excited to get into it. I love, I love the new prosecutor.
okay, I'm not, love is a strong word. I really like him in comparison to who we've dealt with in the past. I love his sprites. I love the coffee. I love his character personality wise, like the whole, you know, how they've done it basically. Obviously he's still a jerk, but not nearly as bad as the past people have been, even though he did throw a flaming hot cup of coffee at my head. Believe it or not, that pales in comparison to what the other ones have done. I'm so freaking excited to get into this. I'm so freaking excited to deal with Mr. Godot. Oh, the judge has brain cells again, guys. We're back. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy freaking one year anniversary. I love all of you down. Okay. Thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video, which again should be on Friday, barring nothing changes. If you, if something changes, you'll know my discord, but otherwise I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye. Go thrive!